Alrighty, so here you can see this is the Yamaha AV receiver, and that's the model number HDR 2067. And uh, this is kind of uh, old one, and this thing doesn't have any Bluetooth. So today I'm going to install the Bluetooth chip uh, in this receiver. So this is the Bluetooth kit you can see. It's a very tiny one and the connection is very simple here on this side these two points these are for the 5 volt and ground power input and these three are the output the audio left right and ground so that's just the connection so for that I have to find 5 volt connection on this uh, circuit board uh, somewhere and if I don't find that I need to find a 12 volt connection uh, like I did before and then I need to use 7805 uh, voltage regulator IC which is gonna convert the 12 volt to 5 volt and uh, then I'm gonna connect this one and I'm thinking to connect this one to right there you can see the white socket right beside the orange one the RC input here at the back so I'm gonna connect uh, the output wires from this Bluetooth kit to the RCA socket somewhere so for that I need to remove this kit and um, to access the bottom kit so let's do that and here on this board you can see this thing has a 12 volt connection and also aux L and R uh, input so first I'm gonna try this one and if this doesn't work then I'm gonna connect them to uh, the audio input right there right at the back you can see the RCA well I use this one uh, the fifth one uh, it's connected to the PC and this one stays idle uh, the audio 4 so I'm gonna connect uh, the output to this one from the uh, inside right there so let's do that all right, so I have found two five volt connection. One right there, you can see. Plus five way, and another one on this side. At the bottom right there, you can see plus five D. And the third one is. D ground. So I found two 5 volt connection and I'm gonna use one of this. So I don't need to connect any 7805 IC. So that's a relief. And uh, uh, then I'm gonna check this one, the aux. Uh, let's see if it works. So I'm gonna connect them. Then I'm gonna check the sound. All right, so the work is done. And here you can see the Bluetooth kit right there and that's the ground connection for the audio and that's the 5 volt connection from this kit right there and that's the output audio has gone right there you can see now let me zoom in there here you can see the top is the black and the bottom is the red so the L and R connections are connected there using this uh, shielded wire and I can get the ground from the top side or else I had to remove uh, this bottom kit so I didn't do that I just connected uh, the ground uh, right there as it's all same all ground so that's it now let's check how it works uh, I have just this two speed so let's see let's see how it works and uh, I have connected these two speakers that one and that one only the left and right channel so let me turn this on all right it's on now and it's on audio 4 you can see uh, that's the audio 4 I've connected inside so let's turn my Bluetooth on 
and here you can see at the top 2.0 BT and it's connected so now let's check some songs So that's it, it's working fine uh, at the steer mode, but uh, at the 5.1 Dolby mode, I think there will be a drop in the audio or ups and downs, something like that. But I can hear in stereo mode with two speakers and a subwoofer. So that's a very good thing. And um, I'm not gonna uh, play uh, more songs or louder songs because they are like four ohms. Uh, each speakers and this thing requires at least six ohms of uh, minimum impedance for the speakers so I'm not going to take that risk that's going to burn this main amplifier kit so that's it that's uh, all for today that's how you can connect a, a mini bluetooth kit to any amplifier or any home theater which doesn't have any bluetooth so that's it and this thing is going to stay inside so you cannot see from outside or uh, you don't mess with the front panel or anything like that so that's a nice thing and this thing is 3.0 so that's also good and connection is also good so and this thing cost me only rupees 50 so it's very cheap so that's it that's uh, all for today if you like the video hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and I have two more channels uh, you can find the links in the description below, so do go there and uh, check them out. So, bye-bye.